Well, hello there. Up next on Live It Up, we have two lovely ladies that specialize in helping children and families. Welcome to the show. How are you, ladies? Wonderful. Thank you for, having, for us. having us. Good. We met because you are part of One Island Giving Day. Uh, but what you do is you give every day of the year. Yes. What is the Child Council all about? So the Child Care Council of Nassau and Suffolk, we provide um, services to families, connecting them to high quality child care. And we also provide um, services to the child care workforce through education and training. And why is child care so important? Child care is a critical uh, workforce development piece. Working parents need child care. They need to know their children are safe, needs to be reliable so they can get to work and be productive. And quality child care also produces great outcomes, helps children get ready for school. And there's tons of research showing the long-term positive benefit of child care. Now, were you sharing with me earlier in the green room that about 70% of the Long Island families are like two-income families now? Yes, yeah, so okay. 70% of families of children living on Long Island have um, both parents um, in the workforce. So really, um, child care is such a critical need for um, Long Island families so that children are in environments that are nurturing and safe um, and allow families to get to work and back um, without that worry. And how is that affecting our economy? Child care has a huge effect on our economy. We've actually done a report that shows for every dollar invested in child care, there's a dollar ninety-five return back to the local economy. And that's because the parents are able to work and spend more money. The child care providers themselves have a job and they're spending money locally. Um, on Long Island, parents who use child care earn a collective ten billion dollars a year. So it's it's an important industry, and it also is one of the largest industries with more than eight thousand people working in it just on Long Island. And a lot of the child care centers now that are licensed are actually good for our kids. Like they're learning things, and they're they're getting to social have social interaction with other yes. children. So I really see the value in it. My children are grown now. They're 27, <laughs> 24, and 12, right? But I remember as a new parent how scary it was to make that first choice. Is that something that you help with? You provide a list of different types of care? Yes, exactly. So um, we provide free referrals to families um, at all points. So those that are new parents who um, need to place their child in a first-time home. And really, our parent counselors are so wonderful at um, easing some of that fear, understanding that um, giving your pre most precious um, gift um, to someone else is a hard decision. And so really talking them through what does quality look look like, what are the questions you should be asking, what are the environment um, um, that will provide both safe, nurturing, but also um, all of those learning outcomes that we're, we're looking for for children. And there's all types of services now, too, which is exciting, you know, what sometimes you only need part-time care, you know, so you kind of are almost like matchmakers, if you will. Right? Yes, yes. We, we think of ourselves as really tailoring it to the needs of the family. So do you need child care close to your home? Do you need child care close to your work? Um, do you need overnight care? Um, do you need um, after school care? So all of the um, potential needs that families are looking for, we're able to tailor um, our referral list specifically to those needs. And I remember, too, a couple of times I needed like emergency care. You know, one of your children get hurt, you need to go to a licensed person that could come to your home instantly and you need to be able to feel like they're bonded and that they're safe and, you know, because there's moments like that too. I, all of my family lived in St. Louis and I was here in Long Island as a parent and I had no family. It wasn't like I could take them to grandma's, you know, right. and you right. need that. And those right. are the resources that you help qualify and quantify and provide. Right, right. And as a working mom myself, both of us, it, we know the struggle firsthand yes. and it is very hard when your child get sick and you have to get to a meeting or be somewhere. Um, we do our best. This, there are still challenges in finding care, and that's part of what we do as right. well, is making right. sure the system works better for all families. Um, but we, from what's available, we will help you find the right care. And it's not just child care. It could be after-school care for school-age children, summer camps. Summer is a huge challenge for many families. So it's a really great service. Because sometimes giving a child, especially under the age of 12, a key to your house, making them be a latchkey kid is not proper for that child. 
Right. It doesn't right, help right. anybody, and it's dangerous, and it's not fair to, I don't think it's fair to the child, so. Yeah, and there's so many enrichment activities that the children can um, benefit from by being in um, school-age care, um, so we really want to talk to families about um, all of the different op opportunities and options that are available um, so that they, again, are feeling confident that their children are safe, but also knowing that the children are getting um, STEM, so science, technology, engineering, and math skills, or um, uh, cooking uh, uh, opportunities or gardening, so that really um, allowing children to be children um, in a safe, nurturing environment um, where families don't have to worry. So you are a, a nonprofit, and your counselor, so NASA takes care of NASA, Suffolk takes care of Suffolk, right. but you guys are also collaborating. Yes. Love that. Yes, we, we um, partner um, really well and quite frequently on many of the um, uh, educational programs that we have across the island. Um, one in particular, we've done a lot of partnering around the Long Island Pre-K initiative, so thinking really regionally about um, this need and um, making sure that the families, um, regardless of which side of the um, one ten you're on, <laughs> right, <laughs> that you're able to seek um, um, beneficial services. Thank right. you both for joining us. And I actually live on the 110 corridor, so I understand. <laughs> you know? I'm like, I'm just an islander. Thank right. you very much for joining us. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. Please check out their resource, and uh, we are here to help support our community.